When Lucas Paulson of Watford City, North Dakota first got sick, his parents thought he'd get better in a few days. He had the flu for about a week, and he got better for about a, for a day, and then it seemed like he had the flu again. Until one day, Lucas couldn't even stand on his own anymore. I remember um, getting waking up and trying to walk to the bathroom and needing to have help walking in a straight line because I couldn't walk at all. They rushed him to the emergency room, and after some tests, doctors realized what was wrong. They came back and said his blood sugar is 706. And the doctor looks at me, he goes, that makes sense. That, that's what's going on. This is probably the onset of diabetes. And I kind of think I blacked out for a minute. And then I remember waking up and saying, and I'm saying, well, we we're going to be f flown to Bismarck. Lucas was suffering from diabetic ketoacidosis, a life-threatening complication from diabetes. His pancreas was no longer producing insulin, but neither he nor his family knew it until he became seriously ill. He had been sick for quite a while, so his, his blood sugars were high, he was very dehydrated. They thought they were dealing with flu, which a lot of families do. You know, a lot of families don't suspect diabetes right away. Diabetes is a treatable disease, but there is no cure. So people like Kelly Fisher, a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator at Sanford Bismarck, help new patients and their families learn how to live with their diagnosis. We're teaching them how to test blood sugars, how to use the monitors, um, how to give the shots of insulin, how to handle insulin, just the day-to-day -day things of routine. How is going back to school going to look? What are his friends? What are all the kids going to say? How's he going to deal with that type of thing? We always talk about that. With the help of people like Kelly Fisher at Sanford Health and the care of his parents, Lucas is back to himself and headed for a normal life, albeit one with type 1 diabetes. In Bismarck, Jason Anschutz, Sanford Health News.